Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Apologies for this being a little bit late. We had a day off yesterday, and boy, was it a not the greatest day to have a day off, man. The best foot content in the past two days that we've like ever seen on this game in succession uh, is, I think, what we've had, right? The best two days ever with the upgrade SBCs and all of the, of the packs. Uh, and the Icon Upgrade SBCs yesterday with the 85 times 5 La Liga and then Icon Swaps surprising everybody and being literally the best set of Icon Swaps we have ever seen in this game. So we're continuing to get player SBCs as well. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what SBC guy was hired at EA. I don't know what is going on and why they had to make La Liga Tots not good to make this one so much better. Or sorry, Premier League Tots not good to make this one so much better. So I want to talk about it all today and also talk about your best pick and your best bet from Icon Swaps because I feel like there's some things that are being overlooked that people aren't talking about time frame wise that is very, very important to consider. Also, the market's been going down. There's a crazy amount of price movements because of all the contents come out. A lot of these out of packs cards have gone down. There were there were crazy fluctuations that you could get a hold of yesterday on icons and out of pack specials. I bought a lot of stuff on Sunday night, so I'm losing some coins. I really am, but we're trying to make it back. I haven't actually sold stuff yet too because some things just got way too low. I bought this Eto yesterday for 850. I bought this Mateus for 415. Uh, and a lot of this stuff has just been small flips that I sold on uh, Monday morning before it all went down. But I got Bergwines at like 299. He was down at like 280. Ben Yedder was like 370k. I got mine at 400. So some of this stuff, like I bought my dog leashes at low 400s, 4 whatever, and he was down to 350 yesterday. Now he's bounced back to 400k um, where he's at right now. But I'm probably just gonna keep holding on to this stuff a little bit longer. I got coins right. It's probably gonna continue to go and rebound back later on this week. So we'll talk about that market wise too. You know, a couple different things to think about with what's going on. But let's talk about Icon Swaps. Also, we'll talk about what's coming today on Tuesday. Can't leave that out. Icon Swaps first, though, because I know everybody's talking about this. And the grind is so quick, right? You can get so many things so fast. One token for an 81 times 25. Two tokens for an 83 times 25. Three tokens for an 84 times 20. And five tokens for a guaranteed Icon Moments pack. Unbelievable. This right here sitting at 11 tokens is what this is, right? 11 tokens right here is like, this would have costed you almost like 17 or I think not quite 17, but like 15 tokens last time because the 81 times 25 was two, the 83 times 25 was three and the, or sorry, the 82 times 25 was three and the 83 times 25 was like five tokens. And you know, the icon moments pack wasn't even released last time, but seriously, the value in this icon swaps is unbelievable. There's so I think this is one of the first icon swaps ever, too, that you could have so many different combinations. Like, if you're a huge Schweinsteiger fan, you can do Schweinsteiger for six, and then you can still go ahead and do all of these. You can still go ahead and do all of these 11, right? Because that puts you at 17 tokens, and then you still have one token left over, to be honest. And I think this might be the first time ever that you can do the highest redeemable item, because we're going to have 18 tokens. You can go do Viera and still get, if you do all the tokens, an 81 times 25 pack. That's pretty crazy. I think that's pretty nuts. Anyways, um, I think in my opinion, the thing that people are overlooking about this is, some people are saying, hey, I'm gonna go do the Moments Icon pack first because we have nine swap tokens out right now. Like they're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna do the 92 plus Icon Moments pack or the Icon Moments pack right now. And then when the second set of swaps come out, I'll do the 81 times 25 in all of these packs. Now, the only thing about that is the next set of swap tokens is not going to come out until after Team of the Season is done and gone because this season, 38 days, 3 hours, it's up here right by my face cam, Season 6 ends in 38 days. That's going to take us into the middle of June. I believe it is like June 18th, I think, is uh, going to be the Friday when we'll get Season 7 and we'll get new Icon Swap tokens. By that time, Ultimate Team of the Season is done. We're going to be into like Euro slash Summer Heat content by that time in June. So if you want to save your packs for then, like your Times 25 packs, you can. But I just wanted to make that known that some people are saying, hey, I'm going to do the Icon Moments pack right now and then 
go for like the fodder packs or whatever from swaps in my opinion i would probably grind these right away these uh a couple packs right here in the next couple weeks now maybe you want to open one of them during league one tots maybe you want to track try to pack bundesliga players whatever league is your favorite you could save for that if you wanted to or if you really want the fodder right now you could open them all right now too because there's tons of sbcs that are out to craft um, so for these, I think I would get them done earlier um, because, you know, just the value of the team and season cards. Now, one argument you can make against that is last year during summer heat, the content was just as insane as this. And the fodder went to the moon because there, wa there wasn't like lightning rounds on Fridays really that much. And we didn't have the crazy amount of supply on the market and fodder was not low, right? We came out of team of the season, people had coins and then EA started dropping insane SBCs and it was just all SBC related and fodder flew. So if you really do want to save this until later, you can, but I'm just saying that, you know, right now, if you wanted to pack team of the season cards, doing these and then either opening or holding for your favorite team of the season is probably a move. But I think again, the best use of your 11, uh, your nine tokens in this first set and the 18 tokens in total are these 11 right here and then probably going for the icon moments pack i think this icon moments 92 attacker or midfielder pack could be insane uh, i know the player pick could look pretty nuts too so if you wanted to do the two more tokens for the player pick that does not just uh it's not just attackers and midfielders for that one but nine tokens there then you could go ahead and do your 84 times 20, 83 times 25, and the 81 times 25, and that would take you to, how many would that be? That'd take you to 14 tokens, and that would be all that you can do. But, I mean, that could be a big step up from the, from the 92 plus icon moments uh, attacker mini the pack. Now, if there's any player in here again, of course, like if you're a huge George Best fan, huge Puskas fan, seeing these guys in swaps makes me really wonder, are we going to get icon SBCs for them? Like, since we have a Vieira, are we going to see a Vieira SBC or would that be also quote unquote above the threshold? I don't know if they're going to release SBCs of players that we have now in swaps. I think it's possible uh, because of course EA said that, hey, once they, if they show up once, they're not going to show up again in that same um, tab. So like if Stoichkov right now, or let's say Stoichkov would have had a, for his 90 rated left wing, he was in swaps earlier this year. He wouldn't have been in again. So, uh, but I guess he could get an SBC. But I think, I don't know, with, with all the icons throughout this year, and they're not releasing icon player SBCs super duper fast, uh, I'm just wondering if they're not going to release players for those guys that are out in swaps. So, that's kind of what the talk about icon swaps is. Um, and then I want to cover the 85 times 5 La Liga upgrade as well, because you guys know not just this one, the 85 times 5 pack, but then the La Liga. Uh, 85 plus player pick was absolutely mental as well. It's basically not quite a guaranteed team of the season, but it almost feels like it. So I'm going to be doing more upgrade packs today and crafting this. It's only out for one day, three hours longer. So if you got a little bit of time, but not too much. And uh, yeah, the, just, the content is unbelievable. Just we're getting player species every day. On top of that, we got the, of course, the swaps. We're getting these upgrade packs like the one-time non-repeatable ones we had an uh, icon prime or moments icon spc that was released as well uh for a non-repeatable version of this um and i think people are not super happy with this because it's a bit overpriced but it's there if you're opening up ring packs you can grind it and all that sort of stuff so there's just unbelievable amounts of content in this game right now now one last thing to cover is this super league team of the season these guys were released I think that that's the biggest thing to look forward to today on Tuesday is the guaranteed Super League Team of the Season SBC. Uh, Bubacar looks pretty cool. Davidson looks pretty cool. Um, Rozier, pretty solid right back with some decent pace. Um, you know, might have to see how these guys try out in game, but another Algerian, Algerian right wing. Not quite like a tall, but a decent looking card. So we will see. Uh, hopefully today that guaranteed tot squad is going to run you an 82 rated squad and like 40 chemistry because... To be completely honest, it has to be that cheap because a lot of these cards really aren't worth it too much. So we will see what happens with this stuff today. Now, let's talk market for a little bit as well because a lot of these prices went bananas yesterday when all the content came out. Some stuff has bounced back, but a lot of stuff is really low. Look at DeYoung, 1.62 million coins. 1.62 mil, crazy. Crazy drop off from yesterday. He was actually under 1.6. He was 1.7 on Sunday night, which Sunday nights into Monday mornings have been a lower time 
for these TOTS cards, but then with all the insane content yesterday, he really dropped off. And that was kind of the story for all of the cards yesterday on the market, is a lot of stuff dropped off yesterday because people were selling cards to go interact with the content. De Bruyne under a million coins, Luke Shaw 215, Sun is 1.75, the cheapest that this card has been in this game. Even after being out of packs, he's still at this cheapest amount, which is pretty crazy, right? So he was down to 1.7, kind of bounced back up, and then today is kind of down again. Now, what's gonna happen this week with cards like that Sun on the market? If we continue to get insane content like we have been getting, this stuff is probably just gonna continue to go a little bit lower. The amount of coin drain and the amount of coins um, that are being used on upgrade packs and I guess you could say rinsed right now in this game is being, it's unbelievable, right? EA is sucking so many coins off of the market. Um, but of course, when rewards hits and then we get closer to the weekend league, I do expect that to turn around a little bit. But until then, if EA keeps releasing insane content, this stuff is probably just going to drop lower. Um, if the content slows down a little bit, that's when you could see some things start to kind of rise back up as, after people get their fair share of upgrade packs, get involved with swaps. But again, when people are grinding icon swaps like they are right now, usually the market does not move very much because there's really people aren't doing anything except grinding icon swaps. So even though it doesn't take that long, people are probably still going and grinding the tokens because that section of the game right now has just so much hype. So if you've got cards that you bought, um, I'm going to probably continue to hold on to my stuff. I still have enough coins liquid to do upgrade packs. Um, I do see this stuff rising up later in the week. You're out of pack specials that got really, really low. And um, yeah, so I think that prices are probably going to continue to stay the same, maybe go downwards a little bit because people always sell at a 6 p.m., especially with the insane content we're getting this week. People might see these cards and be like, yo, I'm just going to sell it before 6 p.m., that way I don't have the risk. But if you want to buy any of the La Liga Tots cards, I do think today or tomorrow is going to be your buy time because they, after yesterday, they've kind of dropped a little bit lower. But if we get more content today on Tuesday that makes you know people want to sell cards or if there's another player SBC or uh, you know even with EA draining a lot of coins off the market, we're expecting that La Liga Tots guaranteed pack on Wednesday, tomorrow. I think that even even though we've had all this content that's come out, people still have some coins and they want to buy up these La Liga players, even though they're like the most packable ever. I think you will see a little bit of panic tomorrow with the guaranteed La Liga Tots SBC, because if you think about it, you've got Messi, you've got Suarez, you've got De Young and Benzema, and that's and Varane, and that's who people are going to think that they're going to pack from that guaranteed SBC. It's probably going to be like 86 or 87 rated, and uh, I think that's going to drain the market on coins a little bit too. Like we saw last week with the Prem SBC, made the market drop a little bit. I think that could be replicated this week with the La Liga Tots guaranteed SBC. So just kind of if you're, if you're wanting to buy one of these cards for your team, I would probably hold off until then and see what we have for content today. Because honestly, I expect the market to trickle off a little bit and then maybe rise back up post 6 p.m. if we have nothing coming out today. But again, it's a lot of coin drain happening right now. Your La Liga specials, one thing I want to continue to say, like with the Joaquin SBC coming out yesterday, uh, I was wondering if Usman Dembele's right wing card dropped, and it didn't. It did not really drop. He's still right around 300,000 coins. I was just checking that Ansu Fati, as you saw, and he is still right around 1.3 million coins which a lot of this stuff again is just high this stuff is just high it's like a lot of people are not selling these types of cards and a lot of people are investing in these la liga specials which i think there's a there's a double-edged sword here right because i think people are very interested and obviously people have packed a lot of these la liga cards now from just doing all those upgrade packs the guaranteed packs and stuff they're gonna have la liga tots in their team but is there enough demand to pull these cards higher later on this week uh, with people already investing a lot of coins and buying up these cards and hoping for a rise and then going to sell them and list them up on the market after rewards on Thursday. So that's my only bit of slight caution I would throw into the wind with La Liga special cards is I do think there's a, so many people investing that it could be, it could be a bit, you know, we'll see. Now, the greater... The greater investment this week, in my opinion, would be look at icons, babies, middles, primes, and moments, because again, people that had La Liga tots this week and Premier League tots added to their team from last week, icons are going to be great for linking squads together. So some of your out of packs icons, your your meta ones, even some of like your Spanish and English ones, right? Because those would get strong links to a lot of the players that have had tots in the past two weeks, like this Butragueño, all versions of him, I'd be on the lookout for, you know, down to 400k. 
this Maradona card. It was like 1.31 earlier this morning. That's pretty low. Yeah, he's in the low 1.3s. He was over 1.5 this past weekend. So I would kind of look into to that sort of thing. And also, like, you know, Spanish cards from the Prem. Like, this Adama Traore, to me, still has a lot of hype this week. He was down at 700,000 coins yesterday, I think, at his absolute lowest. That's a card that I would keep in mind. And also your French links. Because people still have a lot of French stuff going on with their teams from, you know, all the French cards that are in La Liga team of the season to all the French cards people use in this game already, uh, like Varane and Mendy, you know, and you've had the um, Areola goalkeeper that is out. That's a card that I think could rise up later this week. Um, but yeah, until we get to later this week, it's going to be interesting to see what EA continues to do with the content. And since this week is getting started as well, oh my, it's back down to a mil. Sheesh. I need to get some upgrade packs sorted because we have packed two blues, uh, but it's time to pack some more. So I'm getting on today. We'll be streaming live in a couple hours after this. Link down below in the description. So make sure you check that out. But yeah, man, crazy incredible content on FIFA right now. It's it's honestly mind-blowing, all of this content that we have. So hopefully EA keeps it up today on Tuesday. Guaranteed Super League Tots SBC is the only thing I think I'm expecting. But hey, another day of player SBCs. I'm not going to say it's impossible because EA is throwing out the content every which way right now in this game and it's awesome so if you enjoyed this video thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out